Somebody asked me if you had to name the one thing that I think made me successful in self-publishing, what would that be? And I thought that was a really interesting question, so I thought I'd make a video about it. So grab a coffee, let's dive into it. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel, which is all about helping you to make money online from self-publishing. So the answer to the question, what made me successful in self-publishing is branding. And what is branding? You could just make a book, and start making a notebook and then you make a planner and then you make a logbook and uh, you're just making books but when you are branding your books that means that you're specializing in one particular niche or in one particular type of book and I think that is what really contributed to me making an income online from self-publishing because if you create a book and your customer likes that book they might look up the author and see what other books you have as well but most of the time people make notebooks then they make a planner then they make something else and sometimes they use different pen names for all of them so sometimes a, a customer will look at your book and search for the author and maybe not find anything similar under that pen name but if you create a brand around your books then you have a, a, a pen name that people recognize they recognize your branding they recognize your books they're familiar with your books and they buy more books of you so branding really helps you with repeat buyers and it helps people to recognize you as an author and as a book creator so this helped me a lot in one of my educational brands because i created types of books that people started to buy and they started to get to know them and then they bought the next book that i was bringing out and because all of my books were in the same niche and had the same brand it then created a fan base or followers you could say and don't forget that if you open an amazon seller central account on amazon there is actually a way that people can follow you as an author and every time you bring out a new book under that pen name they will get notified that your book is out and uh, that's another way of promoting your books for free so when you're first starting it's not so important to think about your branding although you can start thinking about it when you start but the main thing is when you are a beginner just keep making books and get better at the process of making books familiarize yourself with the process of uploading your books and just make your mission to get better and to create better books and once you are confident in that, once you are creating good books, then you can concentrate on branding. And it's actually not that difficult. And what I found is that by branding my books, I had a lot of ideas for books. Sometimes you get stuck when you are creating books and you think, what can I create next? But when you have a brand, that question isn't so relevant because you are creating books for your brand. So for example, if you're creating or you're thinking of creating a coloring book brand, you know that you're going to create coloring books. So now you already have a better guide as to what your next book is going to be because it's going to be a coloring book. And then all you have to concentrate on is your niches. So you can create coloring books for children, coloring books for adults, coloring books for seniors. And in those um, categories you can then create books for different niches so if your brand is for children you can create coloring books for children that are all about dinosaurs or all about monster trucks or all about unicorns whatever your niche is and uh, if you're creating different books like for example notebooks you can create a notebook brand as well and that has been done very successfully by quite a few notebook brands and uh, people know they are creating notebooks and every time they are looking for a notebook they go back to that brand because they liked their previous notebook and they recognize the brand and that is what branding is all about so it really helps sell more of your books so my income as a self-publisher really increased once I started understanding branding and I made a video about that before so I will leave a link to that so you can have a look at it and it shows you the graph of my sales where it really started to go up when I started branding my books 
And there are different types of books that are very suitable for branding. So I always talk about educational brands because I think that is a really good niche to be in because there are just so many branches in education. You can talk about maths education, you can talk about uh, writing, you can talk about geography, you can talk about so many different things. You can have um, handwriting practice books, for example. There are just so many books that you can create for educational brands. And other good um, branding categories would be, like I said, coloring books. You can create amazing brands for coloring books. You can create a brand for notebooks. I mentioned that before, but you could also create brands for puzzle books. And again, that is a fantastic niche because there are so many different types of puzzle books. You can either specialize on one particular type and then just make them in different niches, or you can just be a brand for all different types of um, puzzle books. So there is a lot of scope in that. And why don't more authors brand their books? Why are they not doing that? Well, in my opinion, that is because they just don't know where to start. I didn't know what branding was all about with books. And it's only when I researched different sellers and I saw how much they were selling, I realized they had one thing in common and that was they created brands about their books. So I think that that is one of the problems why people don't know about it. They just haven't made that connection between sales and concentrating on a brand and branding your books. And I talk a lot about branding on this channel. So if you want to know more about it, just do a search on my channel and just type in branding and you will see a lot of videos coming up that are to do with branding and how to do it and how best to, to choose a brand for your book as well. And uh, the other reason why a lot of people are not branding their books is because the kind of books that are branded can be difficult to create. So when it comes to notebooks, that is not so difficult, but then there are a lot of notebook brands out there. So you would have to find a way to stand out from all of those other brands of notebooks. But there are other types of books that you can brand, like I mentioned, coloring books. And there are lots of coloring book brands out there that you probably have come across, like Jade Summer or Joanna Basford. So they're all people that have built big brands. And Jade Summer started self-publishing coloring books. So it's not something that we can't uh, recreate. It is something that you can do very quite easily, really. And uh, it just needs a little bit of planning and certain strategies that you can use. And like I said, I've got lots of videos about that that you can take a look at. The other reason why um, these type of books can be difficult to create sometimes, of course, coloring books are more difficult to create than notebooks. And that's why uh, a good coloring book brand will stand out and will sell more because if you manage to create really good books, then that elevates your brand above all the others. And uh, it's always really important to create really good books for your brand so that your brand stands out. But if you're able to do that, then that is already a really great step forward. And the reason why I like uh, building an educational brand is because education has so many sub niches as well. And it's really easy to create an educational brand in, in different sections of education. So my brand encompasses a lot of areas of education like maths, handwriting, all sorts of things. But you could niche down on, on one of those areas as well. And the reason that there is not that much competition as well is because those kind of books are more difficult to create. And uh, there are different tools out there. And the good news is that there is a, another amazing tool coming out very soon. I hinted at that in a previous video of mine, and I showed you how much these type of books make. And the app to create those type of books, which is going to be in the math section, is coming out very soon. And I'll be presenting that to you as well, because I think it's another really great software from the company that I often promote for educational books. And uh, I use them myself. And like I said, it's a great way to create books in educational niches. And uh, there's also another app coming out very soon that I will also promote. 
that is it's not really an app it's a course on how to create a puzzle book brand and that will be coming out very soon as well and i will tell you about that so there are a lot of opportunities out there to to create these type of books that are really good for branding and that can create a really good income for you because creating a brand is really creating a business it's not just publishing a book here and there you're really going out there creating a whole business a whole publishing business for your books and that is the secret I think in my opinion to success when it comes to self-publishing and when it comes to educational books for example you also have to bear in mind that there are educational standards that are set for each country they can be different so you have to align your books to those standards and not only do you have to align with those standards but you also have to make your content engaging and fun so that uh, it aligns with your brand as well and you could also create a children's book brand for example which is another thing that i do and uh, you can create a set of the same characters for example that keep recurring in your books so you could create a whole book brand for example about bedtime stories or you could create a brand about a certain character that always gets into trouble and then he has to find solutions those are the typical sort of things that people create brands around and it works you don't have to reinvent the wheel sometimes the simplest things are the most effective things and then once you have your brand the good thing is that it's very easy to promote your brand because you can create a whole social media page around your brand and that would be then free promotion and it's not that difficult either again I've got lots of videos on this channel that show you how to do that in fact I've got a whole playlist that shows you how to promote your books for free on Facebook and that is just one example you could create an Instagram account instead of a Facebook account or Pinterest or wherever your audience hangs out so you need to find out where your readers hang out do they hang out on Facebook do they uh, look at Pinterest are they more Instagram people or maybe even try TikTok that's another platform that is very successful for people especially authors there are just so many platforms that you could explore for your books and each one will be different for different brands so you have to really look at the best platform for your particular brand because they're not all the same for all books i find that facebook works very well for my type of brands um, but you could also try instagram i've got a brand that's really popular on instagram so it just depends on where your audience hangs out and that's something that you have to kind of research a little bit beforehand and of course you can then also build an email list and that is again another way that you can really promote your books so when you're creating your books it's not just creating your book and then your work is done that is just the beginning of it once you create your books you really have to push them and really promote them and the easiest way to do that is obviously by running ads but that costs money and then the second easiest way is to promote on social media and creating a brand and honestly it's not that difficult it sounds like a lot of work when I present it all in one go but it really isn't it's just uh, taking it step by step and like I said I've got videos about branding so you can follow them and create your own book brand so I wonder whether any of you have created your book brands yet if you have let me know I would really love to know how it's going for you and how you found it and did you find it easy or did you come across any difficulties let me know I'd really love to see what others have created and how your book sales are going so stay tuned for the upcoming promotions of the puzzle book business course and also there's going to be a math fraction worksheets generator app coming out that again lets you create fantastic books for your educational brand all of that is coming up very soon I'm really looking forward to presenting those to you and I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope it gave you some ideas as to what kind of books you could create and what direction you could take your publishing business in so thank you again very much for watching I'll see you again very soon bye bye